Despite gloomy skies and chilling winds, Northwestern students and Evanston residents alike were drawn to the Northeast Lawn of Norris University Center last Friday to take part in Northwestern's annual Phil Fest. Phil Fest is something that's been going on for a while. Ten, about 10 years ago, a Northwestern student named Phil died while he was abroad, um, and he was involved in Seed and really loved bluegrass music. So um, A&O and Seed have been teaming up for the past several years to put on this concert in his memory, and this year, Deering Days decided to contribute. Co-sponsoring the event with Seed and A&O, Deering Days works to provide food and fun activities for festival goers to take part in during the concert. At the festival, attendees could play giant Jenga, get airbrushed tattoos, and make tie-dyed shirts and bags. Billfest historically has always been, and this year, has always been a sustainable event. So all the sustainable, like environmental related student groups are here and have their own different booths going on. Um, there's also the bluegrass that like was his favorite genre of music. That's always like the uh, type of acts that are here every year. Um, and then like for Deering Day's part as an organization, we want to put on like accessible community building activities. So like everything that's going on here is free for students. In spite of efforts to foster more accessible programming for students on campus, many festival goers had never heard of the event prior to attending. I didn't see any promo for it online or something. So I actually just saw a sign in Norris, like we're here to get food and get Dillo Day wristbands. So um, I saw some signs for it and I wanted to come see. Regardless of how attendees found out about the event, the decision to offer free, environmentally friendly programming seemed to pay off. I like it. I just made a tie-dye shirt. It turned out okay, and I ate some food, and now I'm listening to bluegrass music, so it's nice. It's not too bad of a day. It's right by the lake, and it's for a great cause.